My name's Gabby Marquis, and I'm going to be doing a Boxing Day book haul for you. It's my first ever video, and I thought, what better way to start than a book haul? So every year, Chapters Indigo, our uh, big bookstore in Canada, it's like Barnes & Nobles or Borders or whatever you have now in the States, um, has a 30% off all hardcover sale. And I put a whole bunch of books on my Christmas list and nobody got me any of them. So I had to get them myself. How awful. And what better way to get them than 30% off. So the first book I picked up was Neil Gaiman's Art Matters. Uh, I wrote on my Twitter a few days before Christmas that if no one was getting this for me for Christmas, I was 100% going out and buying it for myself right away, and I'm so glad I did. It's uh, got all these cute little drawings, and it's all about why art matters, and as someone who wants to be a writer and a poet and likes to do art, I thought, yeah. I need this. The second book I purchased was N.K. Jemisin's How Long Until Black Future Month. I've been wanting to get into Afrofuturism, and I was super excited when this one came out because I've never read any N.K. Jemisin, but I have heard amazing things about them, and I just thought, what better way to start than with a genre I've been wanting to explore, and it's a bunch of short stories, and I cannot wait to read this. So much can't wait to read this. For the rest of the books I got, I went a little outside of my comfort zone. I've been starting to read more uh, humorous, memoir, biography type things, and I've been enjoying it. Uh, I used to read a lot of uh, young adult fiction, and I'm branching out from that. So I picked up Abby Jacobson's I Might Regret This, which looks hilarious. Uh, I've, oh my God, where is that? Like, that looks funny. And um, essays, drawings, vulnerabilities, and other stuff. So I think this is gonna be right up my alley, and I'm excited to read this too. I picked up The Greatest Love Story Ever Told by Nick Offerman, who I adore. Um, I haven't seen all of Parks and Rec yet, but I've loved him in every episode. And I recently watched him and Amy Poehler do their uh, craft reality show, which was adorable and sweet and hilarious all at the same time. And uh, who doesn't love Megan Mullally? Oh my God. So I'm super excited to read this book. I had no idea they were even together. And now I get to read about their love story. I've heard great things about this one. It's been on all kinds of sites reviewing books and everybody's giving it like gazillion stars so I had to pick this one up. Um, I'm excited to read from a viewpoint I don't normally get to read from. I read far too few black authors. I should fix that. I really should fix that. Um, so I'm going to. I picked up Ellie Kemper's Squirrel Days. I'm super excited for this one because every review I read said it was hilarious and really quirky and different, so this should be exciting. In total, I spent $143, which is more than I should spend during the Christmas season on myself, but I was expecting to spend a lot more, that 30% off makes a huge difference. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great holiday season and a happy new year. Bye-bye.